Hello, my 3D printer peeps. I'm sitting here surrounded by a pile of fun toys. This is the Creality Ender 5 Max. Here we've got the Infinity Flow 3D S1 Auto Filament Changer. And special thanks to Polymaker, Overture, and Creality for hooking me up with awesome filament for this and other videos. As usual, none of these companies paid me even one single dollar. I choose to work with them because I like the people and I like their product. And they are kind enough to give back and support me so I can support you. And in turn, you can support me and we can all support each other and all of this cool stuff can continue to exist. Today, we are looking at the Infinity Flow 3D S1 Auto Filament Changer. When I saw this, I just had to try it and they enthusiastically sent one over. This basically is similar to what you'd see inside an AMS or a CFS. However, its sole purpose is to automatically reload filament without any firmware or compatibility requirements. In other words, any printer that you can connect from here to the hot end using a Bowden tube is compatible with this printer. The printer won't even know the way it works is you load two filaments. I will use different colors for demonstration purposes, but let's say with this giant printer, you need an ass ton of black or white. You would load this device with two spools of the same filament. When the first one runs out, it will automatically switch and begin feeding the second one. This second spool will chase the original in the Bowden tube, butt up against it and move together until it's into the hot end and now you're printing with the new spool. You may be wondering why are these boxes so big? The Infinity Flow 3D supports gigantic three kilogram and five kilogram spools. You simply replace the sides. This is what the five kilogram roller looks like. It's ginormous you would simply unscrew these two and attach the gigantic five kilogram roller to the Infinity Flow S1. This is what the three kilogram spool rollers look like. Again, you would detach the one kilogram spool rollers and simply attach the three kilogram. That's where these giant boxes come into play. Here is what a three kilogram spool looks like. That is your Polymaker, and this is your Overture. They are huge. In case you were thinking, oh, three kilograms, it's not that much bigger. I guess that would have to go five. No. Three kilogram is absolutely enormous. We will work with these at a later date. I just wanted to show you that the Infinity Flow can support gigantic spools like this, which may negate the entire need to swap and automatically feed secondary rolls to begin with. Thank you to Overture and Polymaker for allowing me to demonstrate this without having to spend 60 plus dollars of my own money on these giant spools. Much appreciated. Please check them out. Links in my description. Let's go ahead and test out the S1 auto filament loader on the Creality Ender 5 Max. Thank you Creality for always spoiling me with filament so I can make these videos. I'm sitting here on the side of the Ender 5 Max. The Ender 5 Max has a filament runout sensor connected to a PTFE tube that connects to the hot end. There are several different models of printers with several different methods of connecting Bowden tubes to the runouts to the hot end. This one, for example, has no coupler on the bottom of the runout sensor. The S1 came with a coupler adapter that I screwed in to the runout sensor. I did this off camera to be sure I didn't break it. I can now connect a Bowden tube from the S1 to the runout sensor. Connect the Bowden tube to the sensor, connect the Bowden tube to the coupler on the S1. We will then load each filament spool, one on each side. With the S1 turned on, load filament spool number one. I'm going to use this red spool that's almost empty. 
you will see the lights are red. Red light, no filament. Feed the filament into the first tube and wait a moment. The machine will grab the filament and then feed it all the way up into the hot end. It will stop when it feels resistance from the hot end. There it is. It's a little bit on the slow side, but it's just providing a gentle feed to the hot end. The S1 has a blue light indicating the current in use filament. Insert filament number two, and the light will go from red to green. Green is now your standby spool which will be switched to when the red runs out. All right, here we go. We have started a test dog. It will begin printing in red. When the red is exhausted, the blue will be fed and the printer will continue with the blue and the printer won't even know it's happening. Let's see how it goes. Okay guys, we are about to run out of filament on the red spool. Once the red spool goes through the machine and it detects that it's no longer feeding red, it will start feeding the blue and the printer should keep printing without issue. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, we've done it. The Infinity Flow S1 Auto Filament Changer has successfully swapped from the empty spool to the full spool. And you can see where it happened with the perfect color change from red to blue here on the Creality Ender 5 Max. All right, guys, it worked absolutely perfect. So there's only one thing left to do. Try it again. Here I've got Bamboo PLA Basic Black. We will feed this into the original spool until the light turns yellow, indicating an idle spool. What a coincidence. The blue just ran out. And the light switched red, the bamboo has switched green, and it's feeding.
And here it is, my first print with the Infinity Flow S1 auto filament changer and four filament changes. This also happens to be my very first test print on the Creality Ender 5 Plus, and it came out fantastic. Technically, it's also my first multicolor print on the Creality Ender 5 Plus. Hooking up the Infinity S1 auto filament changer on the 5 Max was definitely a success, and I feel fairly confident that you'll have the same success on most printers, provided you can establish a smooth filament path through Bowden tube from the S1 to your printer. On this machine, the filament runout sensor was a bit of a sticking point, and in the future, I would bypass it. However, I was able to automatically change my filament multiple times, and it's pretty cool. I'm Greg Adventure, and you're on 3D Rundown. Hello.